What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. We're continuing the final push to 31 Days of Horror. And today we're going to rank the entire Halloween franchise in a tier ranking. I love doing these things. I know you guys love watching them. Tier rankings to be pretty popular. They're a really chill, relaxed way of talking about all these movies. So we're going to do Halloween for obvious reasons, because we're getting close to Halloween. And a lot of you know, you know, I'm a big fan of Halloween 1, Halloween 2, those original movies. Um, but it's really not my favorite horror franchise. You know what I mean? So this will be interesting tier ranking for sure. So let's just get to that tier ranking. Let's get on with it, man. So here we are, guys. We're in the tier ranking now. And we got all 13 Halloween movies to go through, including Halloween ends. So let me just go through... The tear maker here, we got at the very best, the blackest eyes. Then we have, we're all entitled to one good scare. Then good, but below standards. Snooze fest and kill me now is the absolute worst. So our first one is Halloween from 2018. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a great return of the classic original michael myers i love how his mask is all you know torn and shredded and everything i like the story i like how jamie lee curtis is a, a sarah connor you know what i mean i like the finale and everything like that there was a lot of love for michael myers in this as far as the story goes there are some things that still don't work like the dr sartain thing interesting character could have been an interesting character but they they just they just bring it out of nowhere, right? But the the score, the kills are all really cool. I love that one, you know, that one shot where we're following Michael with the trick or treaters, and you know, everyone's trick or treating. The music's going, the bump in the Michael. Michael does. There's that one long take. That's an absolutely fantastic moment in this franchise. So I'm gonna give Halloween 2018. We're all entitled to one good scare next up is halloween six these are in random order too guys so halloween six has some really great cinematography i do like the look of michael myers for the most part i think this is the better george wilbur performance even though you know he looks a little more intimidating you know what i mean um the we get the final movie with dr loomis i believe but the story is god awful in this um this pagan cult explaining too much about Michael. Um, the, like the, what's it? The curse of thorn or something like that. It's, it's just does not work for me on any level, either cut either. Um, but it does have some ferocious kills in it. I don't like the way they send off Jamie Lloyd though. Inbreeding with Michael and his niece. Nah, that shit does not work for me, but our final go here. I really like, and I like her son. I like how they're planting that like he's almost like a little Michael Myers. Like, you know, he's had trauma. If they would have went the route where this kid was going down the same path as Michael Myers, and this would have been the kid Loomis actually saved, actually got to, actually helped, I think that would have been really cool. But the movie's just so bloody weird. And and what's his name? Uh, Paul Rudd in this, I think, is awful. I know people like him. I think he's awful in this man, but so Halloween six, I don't know. Um, I'll put good, but below standard. Next up, we got Halloween ends. This, this is another one that's all over the place. I don't mind what they were dealing with it with this in certain aspects. The opening of this film is really great, but you're introducing new characters and this is supposed to be the finale. You know, they were setting up this Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Myers finale, and we just never got that. Now, if you would have introduced Corey here earlier in this in these movies, that would have been another thing. I just don't like the way this movie went. I know there's a lot of fans of this movie, but it's not for me, man. It's just not for me. There's hardly any Michael in it, and I wanted to see that big finale. I don't like the the the, the character arcs. Everything just don't make sense to me with Jamie Lee Curtis and everything. They set up, so they set her up as a fucking Sarah Connor badass, and all of a sudden she's. She lets go of this this hatred and everything for her for what happened to her daughter when Michael killed Judy Greer. This character wouldn't do that. I mean, this is it just the characterization and everything's all over the place. But so how and I don't like Michael teaching this kid how to kill and everything. It looks it looks like he's freaking 
It looks like he's Apollo training Rocky or something. I'm like, this is just silly. It's absolutely silly. Uh, every I've watched it two or three times now, and I just don't get nothing out of this movie. Except for like the cinematography, the score. But man, it's just terrible. Fucking terrible movie. I'm, I'm going to put it snooze fest. Uh, H2O. A lot of people like this movie. It's more like H2O meets 90210. You know what I mean? I do like some of the characters, but I like the way the movie opens. The movie opens actually really, really good. Um, I like the it's it's almost like two different directors. I mean, they're showing Michael in the dark. This the skate in the face is pretty awesome. You know, it is in Haddonfield and everything. Then we we move to California or something like that. And I know a lot of people like Jamie Lee Curtis in this, and I do too, for the most part. I think there's some points in this movie where she's she's overacting a bit. Her take on Michael's fine, but you gotta get Michael right, and Michael is not good in this movie. I just don't like the performance. He's not intimidating. I would not be scared of this Michael like a lot of Michaels in these sequels, man. And that's the thing about this Halloween franchise that you, you just have to get right for me. You have to make Michael intimidating and he's got to be somewhat of a threat. But it's not a terrible movie either. I do get some entertainment out of it. So I'll go good, but it's below standards. All right. The original Halloween 2. I do love this movie. I like how it takes place right after Halloween 1. Dick Warlock. Dick Warlock as Michael is really good. I love this poster with the pumpkin and the skull. As you guys all know, that's fantastic. In the middle, it opens up really good. The first 20 minutes and the, and the third act is really good. Loomis is fantastic in this. You don't know what death is. But it just drags in the middle of this movie. But I get, But I get more used to it and used to it every time I watch it. And I do like the characters. I just like the whole vibe, the whole feel. Feels like the original Halloween a lot. So I'm going to go. We're all entitled to one good scare with this one. The original Halloween is fantastic. What more needs to be said? I love the original Halloween. I love this slow burn approach. How Michael's just there. He's spying on people. And, he, you know, Jamie Lee sees him. And it, he's gradually closer and closer and closer. And there's so many iconic scenes. The mask looks great. Nick Castle. As Michael Myers here, I think is he's just played it the best, I think. And I just love the characters in this. I think Linda is awesome. I think the dialogue they give all the girls is awesome. And the music, right? The music is the real star of this movie. I think John Carpenter turned out an awesome score here. So, yeah, Halloween, I'm going to go with the blackest eyes. For sure. Halloween Kills. Now, this is the movie I think is going to grow on me the most if I can ignore certain things in the movie. You know what I mean? You know, the whole middle segment at the hospital and everything like that is evil dies tonight. We don't have to go over this again. It's just taking away from the vibe of the film. It's taking away from, you know, Michael stalking and, and killing and everything like that. And this was this was going for the full blown out um slasher movie, right? But I do enjoy at the end with the mob and everything. Although I do think um, Tommy, he was the character I was excited about the most. I don't like what they did with him. He made the stupidest decisions ever. I thought this character was going to be still a very much character who is still in a lot of fear. And he was going to step up and, you know, and take Michael out or at least take Michael out enough. Maybe maim him or something. And, and, you know, he's the protector of Lori now. That's what I thought was going to happen. We didn't get any of that. Some bad characters in this movie, though, like um, the, the neighbors there, Big John and Little John, some of the worst fucking characters I've ever seen in a horror movie. But there are a lot of good things about this movie. I like how it just went full blown slasher. We can have a lot of fun with this movie. You know, him coming out of the, the house, the house is on fire and the firemen and all that was absolutely fantastic. I absolutely loved the flashback. That's some of the best Halloween stuff I've ever seen, especially the extended cut. When they go back to 1978, David Gordon Green did an awesome job with that, man. Terrific job with this flashback. I absolutely love the atmosphere. The tension is really building in it. I forget the guy's name. Aaron Armstrong, who plays Michael, was absolutely awesome. And that, you know, the way he comes out at the end, when he comes out, and he freezes just like he's in a catatonic state, just like in the first movie. I thought that was brilliant. The way this trilogy should have went 
was Halloween 2018. Halloween Kills should have been the whole entire flashback. Whole entire flashback. You know, reimagining Halloween 2 at the hospital and all that. And then this Halloween Kills, when we go to the present, that should have been Halloween Ends, having that standoff with Michael and Lori and all that kind of jazz. But it didn't go that way. But I think this one will grow on me. Um, I'm going to put it, it, it would have been a snooze fest before, trust me. I'm warming up to it a little, so it's going to be good, but it's below standards. Next up, Halloween Resurrection. This is, this is a bad movie, man. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's not a great movie. The way they send off Laurie and everything is absolutely terrible, but there are times where the mask looks pretty good. Uh, the trick or treat motherfucker, Buster Rhymes. Yeah, no, thank you. Get the hell out of here. But I do like the concept of them shooting this thing inside this haunted house and Michael's there. You could have done so much with that. But I mean, this is not a good movie at all. It can be entertaining at times and I do get on board with our our um our main lead, her and this this guy she met who's kind of helping her through the other side of the, the computer and everything like that. So uh, I'll, I'll go snooze fest with this one. I thought it was going to be a kill me now. You never know with these tier rankings where you're gonna place things next up is halloween four now my goodness i like this movie for what it is but there's things i don't like about it like the mask annoys the hell out of me man it annoys the hell out of me and george wilbur i just don't find him intimidating i don't it, i don't find this michael intimidating the mask doesn't help either there's some great moments inside the house where he kills our busty our busty blonde girl we all love um, but man, God, wasn't that the biggest cock tease you've ever seen in your life, though? God, man. Take it off, woman. I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, Halloween 4. I mean, I still do like Loomis in this. There's still things I do like about it. Like Rachel, uh, Daniel Harris as Jamie Lloyd's fantastic. The ending is really great, for sure. There's a lot of things to love about this movie still. There's just some things that bring it down for me. So it's good, but it's below standards for me, personally. Halloween 5 is a terrible movie. This is the worst of the franchise for me. I'm going to stick it right under their kill me now, please. I do like Jamie Lloyd, like Daniel Harris's performance. I just don't like what they did with her. Loomis is absolutely terrible in this movie. This is probably the worst Loomis movie you'll see. It's It does have some good kills, though. There is some... There is some... um quality things about it if you want to go for a good slasher time and all that kind of jazz um everyone complains about tina and i know she can be irritating and annoying but she doesn't bother me like most people it bothers like i think they were trying for alinda i just don't think she was directed well enough to, to bring that back in her performance a bit but i mean it does have it again it's not an intimidating michael it's a terrible michael like I said, you got to get Michael right in these things. If you don't get Michael right, I'm out. It just, the films just don't work with me as much. So, yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. Halloween three, this is where we're going to an anthology kind of movie series now, which I think is a great idea. But the movie just gets weird for me. There are some great kills in it. I like the concept of these kids. You know, when they see this commercial, they end up they end up dying and they getting killed and everything. But I think it would have worked better as a paranormal movie rather than this weird sci fi movie. But the lighting's great and the um, the music, the synthesizer music and all that is really great. But I mean, I have a hard time getting into this movie, even though Tom Atkins is in it. But he's he's very got a lot of charisma. You know, he's he's the man's man. Lurus and the ladies and all that. He's a doctor, but uh, it's a snooze fest. So I don't like this one as much as other people like it. I don't find it very good at all. All right. Now we're going into the last two Rob Zombie movies. Personally, Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I love how different it is. I love how it gets into here. This psychological thriller kind of movie where... We see the damage Michael did to Lori, how Lori's sinking deeper and deeper into her trauma and she just can't get out of it. You know what I mean? And I mean, you got the best share of bracket here with Brad Dourif. Uh Daniel Harris as Annie is the best Annie for sure. I just absolutely love the scene when she dies and Brad Dourif's performance is absolutely amazing. 
You know what I mean? The hospital scene at the beginning is awesome. If you look at this movie as all in Laurie's head, you know what I mean? I think the movie would work better. I don't like the white horse stuff. I don't like Loomis in it. There are problems with it. The overuse of swearing. Yes, I get it. A lot of people don't hate Hillbilly Michael. I don't mind them. I don't I don't care. Like I said, I don't got a lot of like a lot of passion for this character though. So I I I saw this as something completely different. And I like what Rob Zombie was doing with it. He was almost there with it, you know what I mean? Um for me, but and like that slow pan at the end and then Lori gives that smile how crazy she is now like a psycho, you know what I mean? And so I'm going up to we are all entitled to one good scare and i know i fucked a lot of you up but that's i I enjoy this movie i really do now the original halloween the original reimagining of halloween um i say the theatrical cut to this movie is better a lot of people don't like how he reimagined this movie but i do i get it you want michael to be mysterious you know he's like the wind you don't want to explain too much about him i really understand that i'm like that with black christmas with with billy right I don't want to see him explain to it. If they would have done something like this with with um Black Christmas, oh my god, I'd I'd hate it, right? Like well, I hate Black Xmas. But for some reason, the style of this film, I just looked at this as a different thing on its own completely. So I liked how large, I liked how intimidating Michael was. I liked the the violence, like in your face violence, the gritty direction style of of Rob Zombie here, I think is, is really good. I do get a lot of enjoyment out of this movie for sure. Like I said, there's a lot of things, you know, still the overuse of swearing this real sleazy approach. I think it's really, I think the, the first half, a lot of people like the second half, but I do quite enjoy the first half with him in the hospital. And, you know, when he kills his family and all that, and the second half feels forced. Cause we're trying to, we're trying to jam that original Halloween movie into the second half of the the third act of this movie and maybe there was some studio meddling there i'd have to watch the documentary again i think there was where rob zombie was getting really frustrated with the the studio and stuff like that but this one's hard to place actually because i don't know i kind of like halloween halloween 2 a little more but you know what i'm gonna go we're all entitled to one good scare that is it guys that is the halloween tier ranking um, I do think kills will be the one that has the most potential to move up. The rest, not so much. But at the top, the blackest eyes, we got Halloween. We're all entitled to one good scare. We got um, Halloween 2018, Halloween 2, Halloween 2, Rob Zombies, and Halloween, Rob Zombies. Good, but below standard. Halloween 6, H2O, Halloween Kills, Halloween 4, Snooze Fest, Halloween Ends, Resurrection, and Season of the Witch. And kill me now, Halloween 5. So that is it, guys. That is the tier ranking for Halloween. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the ranking. Let me know what your tier ranking would be. Or just a ranking in general. That would be awesome, too. And I have, at the beginning of the, the channel of two years ago, I did do a halloween ranking so you can always check that out too my name is jason you've been watching backtrack cinema down below is the next video for you guys to watch i will see you next time and i'll see you in the movies cheers